I know you're not used to it, but there's this thing, and it's called reading in context. I know you're not used to it, but there's this thing called reading in context. Well, let's go to the context. I love this game. Surah 930 is saying that the Jews say that Ezra is the son of God, while the Christians say that the Messiah is the son of God. So the context in Surah 930 is about what the Jews say about the son of God and the Christians say about the son of God, not about who their God is. It's talking about the son of their God. Let's continue reading. Such are their assertions by which they intimidate those who disbelieved before them. Allah fights them. How perverted are they? Okay, so the context is that the Jews and the Christians are saying that God has a son. Now we're going to read Surah 931. Now it's talking about they, meaning the Jews and the Christians, the verse that we just read before, have taken their rabbis and their monks as gods, not son of God, as gods, instead of who they should have been taking or beside Allah and the Messiah, son of Mary. That is the context. Now, I know you're not used to it, but that's what it is. Just so we're clear, it says that the Jews take Ezra as the son of God. No Jew does that, by the way. And that the Christians take the Messiah as the son of God. And that's the context.